Hey, what's up, everybody? We Man here, back with another episode of Little Revolution. Oh, here we are. I'm Poncho. What's going on, dude? What's going on, dude? How, how's it been going? Well, I was waiting for you taking a big poop over there. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Those smash burgers got me. <laughs> How you been though, otherwise? I've been good. I've been good, man. Yeah? Yeah, you? Have you been funny lately? I've been trying, yeah. I got, I, our, our engineer came to one of my shows. He said I was pretty funny. So, nice. You know, good. I was working out. I got my first tour coming in Florida. Oh, my first dang. comedy tour. Yeah. Three years later. Three years later. That's, yeah, that's what I gave myself, three years. And now you're on tour. Yeah, now I'm getting to go on my first tour. Well, I hope you meet some roadies. Dudes. <laughs> road dudes. A little, a little, a little, a little roadhead. A little, a little roadhead. <laughs> no, I'm married. I can't get the roadhead. But uh, I can channel that through you. All right. Yeah. Cool. Good to hear. He's a single guy, so. <laughs> Good boy. All the stuff he does, all the. <laughs> the crazy, all the crazy stuff. The I fun, just he tells the me. Fun I'm like, stuff. Oh. <laughs> Good to hear. I live vicariously through him. <laughs> um, well, we have a good one today. Oh my God, I can't yep. wait. This is a first. This is the first. This is the first. We're coming from little Detroit Rock City. Ooh, yeah, and we're bringing in the one and only, the littlest, biggest band in the world, Mini. Kids. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. So we got Mini Paul, Mini Gene, and Mini Stan. Peter. Peter. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling you. Kids. Why would you want to be Mini Peter? No, you don't want to be Mini Peter, dude. Don't be Mini Peter, yeah. dude. <laughs> I got to live with Yeah. We'll just call you Mini Catman. There Doesn't he go by Catman? Yeah. The kitty. Yeah. Mini kitty. Yeah. Mini kitty. Well, yeah. Mini kitty. Yeah. Little kitty, kitty, kitty. Little mini kitty. <laughs> mini <laughs> kitty Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just got dealt a oh, small dude. straw. Dude, I really yeah. did, man. But... A small straw? Yeah. The wee straw. You got Look, I undersell, <laughs> over-deliver, man. That's my motto. Oh, is it? Undersell and way over-deliver? That's, right, yeah. That's the oh, guy. Do you, bring, do you bring it to the ladies like that on the road? <laughs> oh, occasionally. Okay. Uh, what do you mean occasionally? Occasion, yes. Yeah, he's the guy. If it's a special night, you know. The girls love him. Oh, they, they do. do. The ladies love him. All, all ages. You know, there, it's been said on this uh, on this on this podcast before, but I'll say it again, quoting my buddy Brad Williams. There are more dwarves on this podcast than there is in the new Snow White movie. <laughs> 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 yeah. But uh, I have a big question because. Uh, ever since we learned you guys were going to be on, Ponch told me, brought it up. Uh, I was like, all right, let me check these dudes out. Your average height. You're, but you're, you're like. I'm 4'13, bro. You're 4'13. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're still 4, but 4'13. I'm Mexican, basically. That's what it comes down to. Oh, yeah. I'm Mexican, too. Bunch is Mexican too. Who is I'm, Mexican? I'm Mexican Better? too, bro. I'll Actually, I think we're all Mexican. Mexican. Yeah, we're. I'm Chilean. I'm Mexican bro. too. So yeah. I, I'm Guatemalan, but I identify as Mexican. Oh, you identify yeah. as Punch. You identify. As I don't <laughs> identify as Mexican. And what do you say, identify? Speak Mexican to me. No, it's what is it? Chilean. Chilean. That's right. I'm from it's, Santiago, Chile. He's Chilean. I, I speak Spanish. Everybody thinks I'm Chilean, and I always have. They get all excited. Because they think you're me. No, they say because Acuna. Oh, you're oh, Chilean. Acuna, yeah, Acuna, yeah. You're Chilean. I'm like, I'm not Chilean, bro. Sorry. That's my sidekick. Oh. <laughs> this guy thinks <laughs> this on guy. top of the world, huh? <laughs> so, so you guys, you guys uh, hit me up, and you guys were like, uh, hey, man, is there a, was that you? That was, that was uh, me. That was you that was yeah. like, hey, is there a, a place for a, a green room for us to get ready? Yeah. Well, this is what you got, bro. <laughs> this is, this dude, is, so I'm this glad that you guys came dressed the part. Yeah, we were going to drive in from Vegas, and I was like, man, that's not a good idea. We need to go straight to L.A. And then we were able to get hotels and just made it happen to where we were able to get ready at the hotel. And, but we could get ready anywhere. I mean, sometimes we get inside the car. As long as we have one mirror, we can get ready in like 10, 20, 30 minutes. Mm. Depends on what it is. Sometimes longer if we want to be really perfect. But... Just where depends guys, on the stuff. Where do you guys get your costumes at? Um, everything's custom made. This is custom made. Um, this is a Kiss replicas right yeah. here. Both of them are Kiss replicas. Yeah. Um, you could find these online. This is a one of a kind. Only me and Paul have this. Um, but yeah, it's all kind of custom stuff. These are. Um, these are actually slippers. Slippers, okay. yeah. One of a kind. So I keep my feet comfy when I'm on stage. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. So you're are you the only Acon dwarf out of the group? Basically, okay, we'll just cool. say, we'll say yes on that. Power to you, brother. Yeah. 
Um, he knows what's up. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Are you guys out of Vegas right now? Is, I, the, oh. is the whole band from Vegas right now? Or? Only him. We're based out of everywhere in America. But we you're have, based um, in Vegas? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm from you, Texas. Okay. I'm originally from the Valley. All right. But I live in Texas now. Oh, nice. So both of you guys are Texas. Yeah, yeah we flew in for this. Only oh, for nice. you, baby. And then you and flew you. in too. Yep. Hell yeah. Well, thank you. One, for one 30 minute flight all, was all it took. Yeah. So how did Easy. this happen for you guys? How did you guys end up in Mini Kiss? Uh, the band's been going since 96. Uh, no, no. It's, it's been around for a long time. Yeah. And it's changed from member to member. Are you guys auditioning for these things? Or what, what's uh, going on? Kind of. I mean, it's not really much so, to audition oh, for. Yeah. Sorry. My story basically is like I did I did a mini kiss show a couple years ago in Vegas and I, I don't know it just didn't really feel like it even though Kiss is my favorite band and I loved doing it it just was it just didn't feel I don't know then he hits me up and I was like you know hey I got your information from other, from other the other guy would you like would you be interested in coming back and I'm like you know what, I'll give this a shot and Right after one week, and I'm like, okay, this is it. This is my new home. Why didn't you feel it the first time? Was it that, that you did not get along with the other band members or too corporate? If, what was it? It was kind of a mix, okay. kind of. I mean, the well, band, like I said, before, for many years, the band was all lip sync. It was all track. Yeah. yeah. The band started with cardboard guitars on bar tops, mm. and from there it you know, it grew and grew to where and it was like the blow up guitars, right? Blow up guitars. Yeah. 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 And then it like, kind of got into where like, Hey, let's start um, now, you know, singing the tracks and lip syncing basically. And that's kind of when he was in the band. I've been in the band since 2015. And when I came in the band, it was like that. But when I came in the band, it was, you know, the Fatali brothers who owned it since the nineties. And um, Joey Fatali was the LP little person that basically owned mini kiss starting it and doing everything from scratch. He passed away in the early 2000s, passed it to his brother, Louis Fatali. And um, earlier last year, I ended up taking the band over. Now I own the band and kind of it's going down to generations. And the thing that has changed since back then is, you know, I have a lot of, um, like I mentioned, Neil Turbin to you and the Dio band. And I have a big heavy metal history of, um, and, you know, for me, I love live music and getting that feeling and kind of the, the gimmick of Mini Kiss has got us where we are now. Yeah. But now we're trying to show people that we're actually a really badass band. We have real members that play now, okay. and we actually play live, and everything kind of was flipped upside down. Okay, because before they weren't really playing. It no, was there's a... And then are you guys playing the guitars and drums? Yeah. Who's the drummer? Yeah. You? I'm the drummer, yeah. I play, I play my bass live. I literally just learned bass just so I can uh, play live. And oh, that's cool. Turn turn this whole band around. Wow. Do you guys yeah. have a place now in Vegas that you guys actually play or, or any steady place? in yeah. the country that you guys always play at? It's funny you ask that because we haven't announced it anywhere. This would be the first place we announced it, but we there actually, we go. yeah, we're going to be doing a Las Vegas residency starting in May. What? Um, oh, no yeah. Way. May 24th awesome, at The Space Congrats. in Las Vegas. To where, where and, uh, are you doing it's it? It's called The Space in uh, Las Vegas the space and on Las May 24th. And we'll also be doing some dates also in July, August, September, you know, and Right now, it's a set date of only like four to five dates. But if everything goes well, which I know it will, you know, yeah. many kiss in Vegas, we yeah. may continue doing it for who knows how long. Where's your guitarist? What happened? He got locked up in space, and uh, he's an older guy, and um, uh, he got a little sick. But actually, we say he got stuck in space because he didn't make <laughs> it here. <laughs> um, are you guys well connected with Kiss? Yeah, actually, just last week we were hanging with Eric Singer of Kiss, the drummer, yeah. um, in Vegas. Okay. And um, Gene loves us. I mean, he's the one, him and Paul are the ones who actually started kind of the, the, the big fuss about Mini Kiss and gave us the, uh, you know, the, the, the tap on the shoulder. You guys could do it. And he reposts our stuff all the time. You know, we send gifts back and forth almost every other month, and he gets us into shows backstage. So Gene has really taken care of Mini Kiss and is a big reason why we're even doing this today. Um, and a lot of people wonder what's the behind the scenes stuff. It's kind of, we do have the stamp of approval with Kiss yeah. and it's a big reason why we're not, we haven't gotten sued. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> do you get a lot of shit? Like as far as like, cause when we, when we were watching videos of you guys, you, you're, you're well taller than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, you, you, you don't have uh, the little person thing. So do you get a lot of shit for that? Um, not really, because I mean we don't labor. Cause it sticks out. That's yeah, because like we don't labor ourselves as a dwarf band. 
we're just mini. Yeah. And that's why it's short. mini comes short, you know. And mm -hmm. we've even, you know, like going back to the when we were on George Lopez, the band, it was a female singer that was like five foot ten. And there's been many different singers that have come in and out. Um, but the one thing is, you know, I'm the very first singer that has been able to actually sing the music live and perform live. And, you know, uh, unfortunately, yeah, you know, with these platforms and stuff, it adds a few inches. But I'm still short, you know, to the average person. But at the same time, I'm bringing a live feel to the music mm -hmm. and something different that has never been there. You know, so cool, and man. but at the same time, you know, kind of like the Spasmatics band and stuff, we do have different versions that you see of Mini Kiss. So like, if it's a live concert, like if we're, we opened for Snoop Dogg a few months ago, when it's something big like this or this, you know, you get, you know, this Mini Kiss. But sometimes there are clients, like for instance, on March 17th, you know, um, St. Patrick's Day. It's a specific little person event they're doing. So I said, you know what, I'm going to send my other lineup, which is basically this guy ends up being Mini Paul, which is me. And then send them out there to do the event, and then I'm somewhere doing something else. And then you yeah. sing the songs too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. So it really depends on the type of event, but generally, if it's something big or not, you know, like we want to give people a great show, and we don't want to be a gimmick anymore. And the gimmick's great. We we make fun of ourselves all the time. That's how we're a mini kiss. You know, it's funny, it's fun, but at the same time, we do kick ass, and we yeah. want to show so people now, that. Yeah, we're kept flipping it over. It's it's not like come just to look at us. It's like. We're actually playing live now. No, that, I like that. Do you guys ever feel like now because you guys actually all play the instruments, you sing, that you would ever want to form a band that's not a mini version of something else? Yeah, we actually were talking you know about that. Yeah, we were actually. Time, yeah, yeah. Are you interested in like, jamming with us? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not a musician, but I like listening, man. That's like Hell that's yeah. my thing, you know. What's your drum kit like? Because I know it's you're like on the smaller version of, you know, <clears throat> smaller um, people. Well, most drum sets ha are like adjustable to a degree. Yeah. So I just usually put a mold down as low they can go. And the only really uh, adaptive thing I need are my drumsticks because my type of dwarfism is a uh, diastrophic, mm -hmm. um, which is just has a different bone structure. We can't make a fist as good as yeah. you guys, Acons, can. Yeah. Um, so other than that, I just got my little, my mini drum stool. Mm -hmm. And my sticks, and that's it. I can sit on any drum set. What do you do to your drumsticks that are? Oh, um, I just wrap them in like a, like a foam grip. Ah, uh, okay. I, I add some more grip to it, and yeah, um, it works out. Oh, nice. I've been doing it for a while, and um, well, at least you've customized. Are you guys things. all um, single dudes, or what's the deal? Yeah, I'm single. I mean, <laughs> this guy, he's not gonna say, but he has single. two girlfriends. Ready to <laughs> <laughs> nice, well, you bro. Just, Hopefully they I don't will be vote. living vicariously through you now. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Vegas, man. Yeah, I've been with my chick for like 10 years. Okay, um, nice. For a long time, and she's still by my side and everything. And these guys do, you know, it's hard because I'm around a lot of single guys all the freaking time. Yeah. Uh, even the older guys, is, like being in many kisses, it's not hard, but we do get a lot of chicks. Like people sometimes Good. think we're actually kiss. And... It's it's not really hard for me, right but like, yeah. <laughs> we were like on some shrooms. Going, I wonder what kind of beers they're right? drinking. <laughs> <laughs> they're like smaller than I thought, but holy shit, they're kissed though. <laughs> That's really cool. Let's man. just say I use this long tongue for two different reasons. Nice. Oh, yeah, is that what you tell the chicks? <laughs> yep, uh, you do. <laughs> yeah, he does. Nice. Atta boy. You know, you better flick it and sniff it. <laughs> Before you lick it or stick it. Do not oh, I lick it up, bro. I lick it up. Before you what? You better flick it and sniff it. Oh, flick. You flick, flick it, it or stick, stick it. it. I'm going to remember that. Yeah, you don't want to stick it. Before flick you sniff it. Sniff it. it. Yeah. Flick you it definitely it. don't want it. might fall off. Yeah. You don't <laughs> want it. Seems like you've been oh, some places. <laughs> well, I think, oh, oh, I have. <laughs> Those days are over. Those days are long gone for me. <laughs> What's the craziest concert you guys have done put on or show you put on where you're like i can't believe the audience was that crazy or what you know i mean like I, where I, you guys laughed and was like holy shit we just did this is the show we just did i i would say and they'll probably agree with me in in october we um yeah. played at david dobrik's house party and he's a big youtuber and we opened up for snoop dogg and we gotta try some of his stuff and uh, like, Snoop came up to us. <laughs> and some of his weed? Yeah. It was a Oh, because he has his own kind, his own Yeah, 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 Death, yeah. Row, Death Row record has I mean, it. yeah. There's so many celebrities that were there, like uh, influencers. And, you know, once we, uh, 
left there were like, like for instance, Snoop didn't talk to no one at that entire event. His security's hardcore. As soon as Snoop finished, everyone tried barraging him for a picture, and no one got to take a picture in that entire place. Snoop, there's a video of it. Snoop walks up to us, and he's like, I F with you guys. Let's take a picture. And then we have a picture, which is on our social media, with Snoop Dogg. And he didn't take a picture with no one else. And after we left that event, we're like, holy shit, guys. We just freaking opened up for Snoop Dogg. Like, that's crazy. That's pretty big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's way big time. And the, the way the lineup is right now, that was actually the first show that the lineup, like, as the current lineup, which is us and our other little guy. If so that guys, was my, oh, sorry. So if you guys are opening up for Snoop Dogg, it's the majority of the audience hip hop fans. It was a well, party. It was a Halloween party. Yeah, yeah it was a Halloween, Halloween party. party. Okay. Halloween Actually, the, group. the Sanderson cool. sisters opened up for us. It was crazy. From uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they did like a set and they sang a song and opened up for us and then we opened up for Snoop Dogg. It was a weird night, but it was pretty Nobody cool. Nobody hooked up with one of the sisters? <laughs> I was trying to. She was trying uh, to. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, the blonde. Uh, no, 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 no. I was going no. for that leader. The red <laughs> What are you like? You're like, check out this bulge. <laughs> you want to know? A you're like, no one's got a bulge like this. <laughs> no, you want to know a secret that nobody really knows about? My dick is tatted. <laughs> well, the really? whole world you know what? Now. You got to show it or something. Well, yeah, yeah dude, he almost did yesterday. It. Yeah, was it. We were at the comedy store last night with Don Barris was there, and he and Don Barris both almost showed both their stuff to the entire audience. Well, this guy does not care. Dressed up? No. Okay. Nah. You guys just went to have a good old time? Yeah. It's a, I love the comedy store. It's oh, yeah. a cross, so when it gets hard, it rises for Jesus. Wow. That is some very Gene Simmons <laughs> type shit right there. <laughs> That's arts, is the man. cross That's upright or upside down cross? Whichever way you look. Oh, uh, whichever way you look, Ben. <laughs> so if you're like 69ing, it's like fucking upside down. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, you know. So, do you tell girls you're gonna baptize them every time you fuck? I tell them, them I'm gonna give them my holy water. Oh, your holy water. Mm. There you go. It's a little All sticky. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I go like that. I go like that. I bless you, my child. Oh uh, wow. Something like that. Uh, so, <laughs> that's not creepy. <laughs> oh, no, no. Very creepy. And what about you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, what's you're, up? You're a little silent over there. Yeah, man, no, I, I mean, being the drummer has been like. The born role I was think I was born for. I love sitting behind people, and and just making them sound. I good. I always feel like when I watch drummers on stage, they look like they're having such a good time, man. Yeah, like they're on, like especially when they're in the zone, man. <sighs> yeah, it's like a transitional moment. Like uh, when we're on stage, it's out of body experience almost, and it's amazing. It's not, it's undescribable. So have you guys all been together for the same amount of time? No, I've been I in the band since 2015, and then him, then okay. him yeah, okay, and then got it. I yeah. did two shows with Mini Kiss uh, back in um, 20, it had to be like 2016, 2016 or 2017, and and they were fun. So around 2008, I was in Vegas, and I was at the Hard Rock. Maybe no, maybe even before that, more like 2000, maybe three to eight, somewhere in there. Uh, I was at the Hard Rock and we were shooting photos in this elevator and we went up and Mini Kiss got into the <laughs> elevator. I'm like, who the fuck are you guys? <laughs> like, yeah, was it any of these guys? No, no that was a, the lineup before us, which is the older guy. A lot of them have passed away. But actually that event was the opening of the Mini Kiss Golf um, probably at the Rio, right? I, no, it was not. No, no. Yeah, that Hard happened Rock. years later. Hard Rock? We were at the Hard oh, Rock. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, the Hard Rock. If you actually go online, there's crazy stories of Mini Kiss in Vegas. So, yeah, it was at the yeah. Hard Rock Hotel. There was, uh, yeah. Actually, that's the show where one of our guys almost fought one of the other guys. from. A, they tried making a tiny kiss. So and there was Mini Kiss? They tried making tiny, a uh, tiny kiss? Yeah, there's this guy named... Uh, there's like a tiny version of everything. Like, I remember <laughs> seeing like a tiny Tina Turner... Yeah. Tiny uh, Britney Spears or little Britney Spears or mini Britney Spears or mini or Michael Jackson, huh? Mini, mini Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> There's a guy named Micro Jackson. Micro I seen Jackson. him up there. Oh, That's wow. actually kind of hilarious. So. That is yeah, pretty funny. Micro Jackson. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he's good. <laughs> that, dude. It is good. God damn, I gotta see that. <laughs> <laughs> Micro Jackson. That's him. genius. I want to see him moonwalk. Yeah. His moonwalk has to be amazing. What do you think goes on at his Neverland Ranch? <laughs> 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 
was oh, the only God, We're going to fucking edit that yeah, out. No, we're not. <laughs> that in, he's he's like, <laughs> he has mini ponies in his. Uh, oh, my God. Everything's mini? <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> dope. Yeah, it is. He yeah. has mini ponies. He's got a... They got, got like, a, mini, mini, mini llamas. Mini llamas. Yeah. Mini carousel. Yeah. <laughs> teacups, right? <laughs> yep. Oh, the teacups are teacups. <laughs> he has one of those kids folding uh, tables out for, the, for everyone to have a picnic on. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Two are all talking and shit about him. Like, <laughs> like, all right. How do we hey, get to talk to him? Because he's so Jackson. awesome, dude. He's great. What's yeah, that? He's, he's awesome. He's so he's amazing. Talented. Have you have you met him? Oh, he's have you hung out with him? On Instagram, I think he's like... He's He works with the... um. The Micro Wrestling Federation, they're good friends mm. of ours. The what federation? The Midget Micro. Yeah, Micro you know Wrestling. Oh, like, that word, midget. Yeah, they just you got... Okay only we can say it. Yeah, of course. Only, it's our word. Only we can say it, you know? So I don't get offended it. by it. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. get offended. That's kind of... Dude. When I grew up, that's the only word there was. So, like, it was like... For, I, think, I think, too, it was more of just, like, you know... If you say little person, you're gonna think of a lot of things. You're gonna think of him. You're gonna think of me. You or know, children. So, even, exactly. Like, you're gonna think of a little think, kid. If I if I hear dwarf, I actually cringe a little bit more about that because that, now you're just saying, oh, are you like Peter Dinklage almost? Like, are you thinking of us in that a kind mythical of form? Character. mythical character? <laughs> but we have a dwarfism. I am yeah, scientifically it is it's called a dwarfism. dwarfism. So it is dwarf. So it's not like I I don't. I didn't mean it like that. I, I meant like when I just hear it, I just think it makes you cringe. Yeah, it makes me cringe just a tiny, tiny bit. So but not, but no offense to that. Does that work bit? exactly? <laughs> but when you hear midget, you all you automatically th- you know exactly who what you're talking about. But you know, technically midgets aren't dwarves. Yeah. Right? They're, they're they're actually like There's jock midgets, like, like you. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. That you know, like He's a, a petite person. That's you know, you have yeah. everything is proportion. You know, you're just I learn something smaller. new every day. Yeah. What's yeah. up, midget? <laughs> What's up, my midget? Nothing, nah, nothing midget. much dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my midget? <laughs> my midget. <laughs> Dude. Midget. Or enano. <laughs> midget. Bro, enano. Enano. Wait, wait. Are you midget rich? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's that even Not as much as you, brother. Know. Not as much as you. Stats are just a little shorter. <laughs> yeah. You're getting little money. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's half. Half price tickets, half price everything for us. Yep. We've had people on the show that really get offended with that word, so we try not to, like, you know, bring it up or anything. But no, we always never bring it up. We've oh, had we some bring guys. it up, but, like, you know, it's like they don't yeah. like it. Yeah. It's like, some of our guys oh, no, don't we're like good. that word. The, the older guys that work with us, they hate that word. It seems and, like uh, the older guys. What do they prefer, a little person? Um, yeah, and, like, one of the older guys, we were at a show in Baltimore, and we we're all talking about this same discussion about the M word and everything. And we're like, he's like, I just don't like it. I hate it. He doesn't it. even say it. He and, says uh, the M word. Yeah, I just have respect for all my guys. You know, everyone's, I have lots of different guys I work with, old, small, t- some of them are little, same height as me. But I, uh, and in our contract, it says on advertising, you can't use the M word. You know, on the N word? Like, like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, whoa, this is yeah, that yeah. kind of you show. You can't call N-word. us N word kiss. <laughs> <laughs> M M word okay. kiss. Okay. <laughs> because some people, depending on what the event is, they'll say, oh, it's midget kiss or something other than mini kiss. I, mini and kiss sounds good. I don't it like does, midget yeah. kiss. Depending midget on, kiss and is just that's like, what I say, Midget right? kiss sounds like you're kissing a midget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, like, it was a midget, midget kiss. is about <laughs> the whole new thing, midget kissing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good like OnlyFans username. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but mini kiss sounds like a band. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, basically, we <laughs> show up to the show in the lights and said midget kiss. And Shut pit, up. it pissed off that guy so bad he ended up leaving like two the weeks. Band. Yeah, the band. Yeah, and like some stuff like that. It's like we don't control the venues and promoters that much, but well, a lot of the people you're dealing with are fucking drunk. They don't know. Yeah, what's going and that's where we came to nature. like you know, conclusion. Like you got, they're there to have a good time. They paid money for the tickets. Yeah, exactly. You know, they see you guys. They're a little drunk. You know, actually, like, we did a Pauly Shore a few weeks ago, and he was calling us baby kiss. <laughs> so it's always different depending wow. on who it is. But what did you guys call him? I hope you guys called him something back. That guy was getting into it with the him and Don a little bit. I Me mean, and Don go way back. You yeah. Know what but. What'd you call Polly? Uh, no, nah, we had some respect for him. We were on his <laughs> yeah. show. Uh, we were on his, <laughs> his show. <laughs> it's wait, didn't yeah. he? Doesn't he always have another comedian? Yeah, there was an influencer and a comedian. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you yeah. got so you guys were part of the Polly one man show because I know he's doing a one man show. But he has somebody come on with him okay. to like co-host with him. Okay, like, cool. Uh, what's his name? Chappelle. Okay, did it. nice. Chappelle Lacey. When oh, he, yeah, yeah. He Got left it. here, went and did Polly Shore. Yep. Is so. That, yeah, sorry. Go no, for go. It. No, Is that your real hair? Like, what, like what, what's going on? Is that um, a wig? No, you don't have to take it I'm off. just kidding. <laughs> it's my real hair. See, about <laughs> this. Yeah, it's my real hair. 
Is that your real yeah, hair? Yeah, this is my real hair. This is real this That's thing. not your real hair. That's just real hair. Come on. <laughs> That's just a homeless wig. You like really that. Like I found it on that the way here, actually, <laughs> on the ground. So. <laughs> What's your favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers song? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, can I say an album? I mean, yeah. Californication. Oh, nice. I saw you have the chili pepper tattoo. Yeah, they're a huge influence growing up in L.A. Oh, okay. I started playing nice. basically because of them, so. Yeah. Um, so you want to be Chad Smith? You want to be? I met him. I don't want to be Anthony mini Kiedis. Chad Smith. Chad mini Smith peppers, is really mini tall because he plays drums. So okay. I'm saying Chad Smith. Yeah, Chad Smith is really tall. I've yeah. met him, and he and he hits really hard. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's great. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. So March or May 24th, Vegas. Mm-hmm. The space. Where's the space located? It's a little off the strip, but. Um, how big, is it, how big of a venue is it? It holds a max of around 350 to 400 people. Okay. Standing? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're doing VIP. We're doing a meet and greet. Uh, we're also going to have like mini Elvis open for us. Is that Mighty Mike? <gasps> no, he's a friend of ours though. Oh. Yeah, what Mike Merger. What happened? <laughs> Dude, we're gonna I'd have... like to use my Fifth Amendment privilege on that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he yeah. will be watching this. Trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike? yeah, he he follows us and everything. He's, uh, I've talked to him like a few weeks ago. I've done a few gigs. We're, with we're, him. we're somewhat buddies, you know. Yeah. yeah. He tried to get me to do a gig, because for him, like gigs, like certain gigs, he just doesn't care, like like midget bowling and like midget tossing and all that. Yeah. And he, he like hit me up. He's like, hey, you wanna you wanna be a part of this thing? This for this party? Like, we're, 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 there's a midget tossing, and me and you will get tossed. Like into a pool, Damn. and I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna do that, man. Like, it, 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 it it's just not my thing, you know. But yeah, you get this. It, he's like really into that <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, it gets pretty wild. We get some weird requests too. I mean, he does mini Trump, and we also out of Vegas. So like, we have lots of stuff we do. Um, I mean, mini Trump. Yeah, people say it's the voice. I don't know. I, I just don't hear it, but everybody loves it. <laughs> dude you should be mini trump this whole year right that's now. the plan dude i'm bummed yeah. that you didn't come as mini trump now dude you yeah. know what we're gonna bring you back as mini trump call, call me and i will bring it yeah. i got you <laughs> and we'll just ask you political questions and just get your views on you it. should go as midget trump though I uh, mean, midget Trump is yeah. so much better than That's what yeah. Trump would do, right? Yeah, he would. That's Trump what Trump would, would like do. better midget Trump. I, I would do it. <laughs> Come midget Trump. <laughs> that would be, he would totally be, say yeah. it that way. You make a valid point. He would say it that way, dude. Midget Trump. Oh, no, Come so to it. Midgets, you know, like however he talks. I love all my midgets. They're all just so beautiful. They will all make America smug again. <laughs> wow. It's the greatest dude. impersonator of mini Trump right here. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Good one. Midget Trump. Midget, Midget Trump. Trump. Yeah, D, Midget Trump. Trump. What, what about you? Trump. What other mini things do you do? Is it just this? I, I'm living, I like, I've done a lot more when I was living in LA. Uh, my first real job in, act, in the in entertainment was uh, Chucky at Universal Studios. Mm, so that's that, a good that one. was pretty much my favorite role. Gigs like that pay a lot of money, dude. They do. Like, people don't understand. Like, I, I, I remember when I first moved to Los Angeles, I worked. I told him about this. <laughs> I worked for this company called Celebration Entertainment for a little bit. And basically, we would do birthday parties for these filthy, rich fucking people. Little kids and shit. And I did a Star Wars party. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Where Darth Vader was like, and we're all in costume. I, I, I did a horrible Yoda. I was terrible at it. But we're all in costume, and, and fucking Darth Vader goes, if any, if all, wh whoever wants to join the dark side, get Yoda. And all these six-year-olds started beating the shit out of me with lightsabers. It was awful. I quit. I was like, this sucks. I couldn't Damn. handle it. You know? You started doing podcasts, some the, chill stuff. I didn't have that fucking uh, you the, didn't the have strength. Nobody. You, you should have just have bought the them back, force bro. On your I, side. Oh my no God. force. My where, force where, is depleted, dude. Where, oh, where was no. the force? Yeah, you didn't have there. Luke Skywalker or Princess Honestly, Leia. Honestly, I didn't want to beat the shit out of these little kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I didn't want to go to jail. I think you would have been in the right, though. I out of a seven-year-old with a lightsaber. <laughs> I think it would have been fine. It would have been hilarious. It would have been awesome. Well, Yoda you know, flipped out and what happened to little Timmy? Yoda beat his ass at the birthday party <laughs> and then stole the cake. <laughs> it should have, dude. 
I see. I totally see that the, the Chucky thing. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, like Halloween Horror Nights is a lot of fun too. Was there a, a Chucky chick, like a, a girl, like a there the were, bride of Chucky? There were girls who did play Chucky, but um, the Dwarves? bride of Chucky, no. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, as you know, like when it's union, it's obviously way better. So. That's what yeah, I those say. gigs pay like five hundred dollars for three hours, dude. You're chilling. It's all cash, and you get no, insurance. Cash? Yeah. Don't tell Uncle Sam. That was a long time ago. All right, got it. Long. <laughs> <laughs> so you worked at Universal Studios. Yeah, that was like my first um, taste of entertaining, and um, at that time I had already been playing drums, so I was like in between acting and music and. Um, here we are now. Do you know a guy named, um, fuck, what's his name? Christoph. He yeah. plays drums yeah, too. Yeah, he's great. And he he's, surfs. He's really good. Yeah, he's a talented individual, man. Very Did talented. he ever try to get you on his podcast? It's called, uh, Not kind of a big deal. I don't think he does that anymore, but mm. yeah, it's kind of a cool I've name. heard his band and they're great. I used to see him live when I, when I lived around here. Do you ever, do you know a guy named Lee Gill? He's from the Joker movie, the... He's a he's a little British dude. He's got the same dwarf. He's a buddy of mine. He's got the same dwarfism as you. Um, and he and he used to play in a band too. No way. Yeah, he was a guitarist. Wow. He's pretty badass. Oh, wow. We're yeah, looking for like a new guitarist. Oh. oh. So well, he's in Call up Lee. Oh well. Yeah. Hold Does down. Lee still jam? Is he still yeah, jam? Uh, I don't think he jams anymore, but he jammed in the band and he was a really because of his arm structure. He had he played the guitar a different way, like upright. Yeah, yeah, like that. Dude, like, I, I I do it, that and too. It was sometimes. pretty awesome. It's, yeah, dude, that's amazing. Stand up wow, guitar. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. that's for it is Instead for little people. Man. Base, He's a punk stand-up. rock man. You'd love that shit. Hell We're yeah. gonna get him when he comes out oh, here. Let's go. It's yeah. on. He does push ups like oh, with, oh, there's feet touching on the ground. Oh, okay. That's okay. how he always gets laid. <laughs> he does that at parties and shit. And girls wow. are like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they just slide right under him. <laughs> they just slide right under him. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Is that his own yoga? <laughs> yeah, that's his yoga, dude. Whatever works, bro. Fuck. I love that dude. Uh, um, okay, but any other jobs? What's the... So, Ponch and I have before discussed our first jobs and worst jobs. Well, you Universal, guys so th- yeah. That was my best job. I said, worst job, yeah, being a cashier. <laughs> Where at? Um, a hardware store. Okay. Yeah. Just selling nuts and bolts all day. That's it. Same yeah. people in and out. How about you, Gene? <laughs> Where in Texas or out here? Out here. So when I moved to Vegas, I actually got a hold of my first agent, and that's how I was kind of confused because originally I was just like looking for other little people friends and i thought that was like a friends meetup site until i saw all these people in costume I'm like wait what and then when i got a hold of the guy he explained to me i'm like so it's like a so it's like prostitution without the dirtiness wait 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 start all over back off yeah wait wait, wait, (laughs) what happened so you moved to vegas oh sorry sorry So you moved to vegas no 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 no. i was so confused about the website you know what website the little people, like the little people delivery. LPA? No, 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 no. It was little called, it's called little people, people delivery. delivery. Oh, I know what this is. I've heard of it. Wait, I've never heard of yes, this. Yes, it is. So you, you actually it. pick which character you want, and they, and that little guy will come to, to your party, and it could be, and that's how I first started doing. My buddy, uh, who who passed away, rest in peace, little John. He used to do that, Dude. and he would go and get handcuffed to the bachelor. At a party and hang out with them. All That's what night. I did too, and they were always from Britain. Ha- hang out with them all night long with him and all his drunk buddies, going to take pisses and just yep. getting tossed around, and you're handcuffed with all like I've. It, you paid good money, but like then again, like I've a done lot. that too, Terrible. and it, it was always guys from the UK, and they always wanted Trump too. They always wanted the same thing. Little people delivery. Never heard of this. <laughs> well, we should, well, you know. No. You know, <laughs> it sounds like the dark web. I think we should go to Vegas and try out for this thing. You I'll help you guys. You and me together. Do a little it. revolution on little people delivery. Yeah. We'd have to charge a lot, dude. Oh, we're this charging is... a fucking yeah. lot of money, man. We're, only, people doing, people we're only doing bachelorette parties. <laughs> oh, they go wild. There you go. On ours, it says bachelorette parties only. <laughs> yeah, but he told me that it, it, it was just brutal. It's like you, you've 
You got to withstand a lot you of abuse You have to and shit. really pay attention and like the party, you know, how when I will I will say I think my worst worst gig it was a bachelorette party and I think I was dressed I, f- I forgot the character it, oh it was uh, Tyrion Lannister it was what? Tyrion Lannister from Game of Game Thrones. Game of Thrones. Dude. Okay. Game of Thrones. He so, doesn't watch it. He never watched it. He's not a fan. <laughs> um, it was my second bachelorette party. <laughs> and when I got there, they I kept texting them saying, hey, I'm here. I'm here. And I'm like 15 minutes early. And I'm like, hey, guys, I'm here. What's the room number? But nobody is answering their phones. And I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. What's going on? And because of, and they wound up passing out. And I finally get upstairs. And they were just wasted, like God. Girls. And the, yes, and and the worst part is when you're stripping and you're dancing on them, their attitude is what gets you going. Wait, so you Stop. were stripping? Wait. Yes, yes. For Tyrion Lannister, stripper. Yes. <laughs> For Fully the Bachelorette yes. girls. Fully weighing in their face. Boom. No, you're not no, fully no, nude. No, you got no, like no, a like no. a, 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 thong, string a on. string A thong with like yeah. a ha- yeah. banana <laughs> hammock dick. <laughs> way, way, yeah. way, 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 way. Once it's in the room and the money's coming out. Yes. It t- it goes a little further. So are you with another guy, like a bigger guy? Are you guys No, as a I'm team? always by myself when I go out there. <laughs> Dude, Jesus. they raped you. You know they. Oh no, raped no, no, you. no! When, I, when, when, when one of the girls <laughs> you have a pimp? Huh? Yeah. No. no, there's no pimp. No, nope, there's. Well, technically there is. He's my agent. Um, okay. But what wound up happening him? was no. Okay. <laughs> That's a rude. He lives in California. Okay. <laughs> but what wound up happening was they told me, "Hey, go dance on her. She was half asleep, just gone. I don't know what she was drinking." And when I went up to go dance on her. She wakes up and yells, he's raping me. What? He's ra-. I jump and I say, give me my money and I'm leaving. I'm, oh. not, going, I'm not getting the cops in the vault on this. Dude. This is his first job. Wow. That job sounds like just awful, man. Little that, person, that beats my job. Little person well, At least you got to do with chicks. Yeah. yeah. I'm still flabbergasted by the little people it, delivery. But it's, I mean, they do it with normal sized people too. Not this yeah, particular but, company, but yeah, it's but that's just like, just, yeah. You know, I mean, you can't. Okay, so that's pretty bad. How about you guys? This I've guy's honestly, got a girlfriend. He's not going to say anything. Yeah, no, I'll say everything. <laughs> Bro, I've been, I've been some crazy stuff, I guess. I've been a musician basically my whole life. But okay. like I said, started with metal musician and then I played covers. And then um, I actually do e commerce and I manage Amazon stores and stuff on the side. Oh, and it okay. kind of helps me fund this band as well. So it kind of, um, it works hand in hand, graphic design, branding, kind of um, all the stuff I do for Mini Kiss is my history, what I learned. And then I brought my mu- musicianship into the stage to where it kind of just blends together. Got it. There you go. Okay. Not a bad gig. Do I have a story you wanted to bring up all uh, right. of why we love you and why I specifically yes. love you? Okay. So when I was 13 years old, I'm, I'm 30 right now, 30. All right. So I'm 13 years old. And <clears throat> Jackass was like so huge and bad, you know, all that stuff. That air was kind of like where we grew up in, you know, watching yeah. it. I at one time um, tried cyber stalking all the cyber stalking. I tried looking up the, the addresses to send like fan mail to every single member of Jackass. And I sent, I wrote a letter saying, hey, I look up to um, this and that. Everyone had a different reason why I look up to them and I'm a musician, blah, blah, blah. Nobody responded except for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, you were the only one who responded. And I remember I was telling you, I was like, hey, I'm a shorter guy. I'm a musician. I look up to you, wee man. You're awesome. Um, just love everything about you, dude. Just like, yes, dude. dude this yeah. Is no so, way. Yeah, dude. I, so I sent you the letter, dude, and I got a postcard back from you. I think it was like a skate shop I sent it to. Okay. And uh, it was a postcard that came back and said, Arturo, yeah, man, keep rocking, wee man. And no I still way. have it to this day, bro. It's like on my wall, like fucking... It's there. Oh, holy fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And no I'm way. sitting right next to you. Yeah. It is an honor. Dude, yeah. that, honestly, <laughs> dude, you were one of the first little people I, I've seen on TV. And yeah. like back when like we the heyday of basic cable, MTV2, channel yeah. 99. <laughs> that was before you turned it to the porn they would do. Yeah. <laughs> before you turned it to the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll watch Jackass first. And, and then later right. night, they, they got <laughs> the um, Girls Gone Wild commercials. <laughs> 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 like, but like watching the Jackass, trials. man, was the coolest shit, dude. And, awesome. and like, it, did it make yeah, you guys yeah. feel like, oh, I can, I can do yes. that? One hundred percent. You know, dude. it's also 
Now my now you were the representation, dude. Dude, you dude. were, dude. Fuck yeah, that's what yeah. it is. When there you go, buddy. Yeah. Hell yeah. So are you though at times. I'll give you a little credit for Thank that. You. You're welcome. Credit, <laughs> credit sincere. Yeah, I mean, when I was a freshman in high school, everyone told me I looked like you. But I think okay. because I just cut my hair. Uh, all right. And every I always shaved your head. head. Yeah. Shaved head. Head. yeah. I always buzzed my head. So dude. but so but every single student always asked me, Can you kick yourself in the head? Yeah. And so one day I I'm, I'm I said to my friends, okay, during lunch, you're gonna meet me in this hallway. I'm gonna kick myself in the head. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll I'll prove it. And you did it, dude. I ended up having to go to the nurse's office because my head was just bleeding a little bit. <laughs> like I actually broke the skin. So you did it. Yeah. Nice. We well, didn't wow. have to go that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I, I was just. I kept going like that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Good one. How do you guys feel about LPA? Do you guys have you guys ever gone to any LPA conventions? It's you guys fun. are part of that. A little too much. They hate Does us. Does LPA frown <laughs> upon you guys? They hate us. With oh, they the hate you guys. Yes, they do. They hate us so bad. Okay. They do. Why? The, they I'm pretty sure they, they probably hate like, us too. The band. The entertainment yeah, they hate, industry. Well, of like they, LPA. they hate the band many Yeah. The they, band, they, okay. Well, they hate they hate a lot of our entertainment in general. Yeah. Got it. Because you guys are being exploited, kind of. Is that what they feel? They're just hating. The businessmen at the top think that it's exploitation. Yeah. I don't think it but is. But how is this any different than like a fucking average sized people, average sized person cover band? You know what I mean? Exactly. How is that, how is that any different? Well, yeah. before you guys didn't play the instruments and do that. And now that you guys are, it's like the same thing as a cover band. Like, you know, like I, I don't understand that how it's any different. Short. That's not frowned upon, you know? You loved Little People Convention. How many have you been to? <sighs> and so Punch has never been to one, oh. ever. And I've told them stories about how they are, what happens there. That's, it's the craziest shit. Like for a whole let's week. Let's talk about the positive stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. It is. We, it we, is. We don't want to make LPA seem like it's like a no. Like no, it's just orgy. one big. It's like a great, the greatest party. Like <laughs> yeah. you can have, and, and like you meet so many great people that become lifelong friends, and you just like get to do cool shit in a random city every year. Like how? It's are you best. into sports? Um, I don't play sports, but I, I love. I, I love watching it. Uh, okay, so I was wondering if you ever did any of like the LPA, like mm -hmm. Olympics and stuff. No, but I did the talent show when I first started playing drums, and that for me that was a big deal. You oh, know? that's so cool! So that was my first time like playing in front of a big crowd, and I was like, yeah. What were you? What 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 were you playing on the drums? I played like a Led Zeppelin tune one time with like a drum solo, Moby Dick. If you guys know that song. Mm -hmm. And then another year, I was like in a punk rock band. We played some Misfit. That was about it. Nice. Like, some stuff Misfits like are good. Hell yeah. Like this is rad, dude. Yeah. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. But you guys are. <laughs> no, you guys Honestly, are. I don't think, I think maybe we, will, we would be somewhere further behind, but I think you have been definitely the biggest inspiration for us and a lot of LP actors. You really have been. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I can say you've been my biggest inspiration. Glad I was on the forefront of like the knuckleheads of LPAs. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't like the fancy, like just regular actor or whatever. I showed that you can take it to the next level and do whatever you wanted. Hell yeah, good. Yeah. So you Thank used to you. go to conventions? I so. went to a couple when I was younger. Like my dad took me and my mom, like they took me there and I told them I didn't want to be there when I was younger. Right. But then later on, like once- Turn 18. Yeah, <laughs> I went and I was like, wow, there's some babes here and stuff and <laughs> it's a fun time. Might as well stay a little longer, you know? So- Is that your taste, like of women? Oh, I love all women. All sizes, oh, yeah. all colors, everything. All size, all colors, <laughs> all women. <laughs> Hell yeah. Women are women. That's what I have. <laughs> That's what Punch and I were just talking about a little ago. Yeah. And I'm just, he's like, what's your type? And I'm like, what do you mean, what's my type? <laughs> yeah, is, she, is she lying? Women. Is she lying? <laughs> well, everyone, I, like, growing up, for me, like, I always had tall girlfriends, like, just average-sized girlfriends. Not because I wouldn't date a little person. There were just never any around. I didn't really know about LPA or any of that stuff. So that's just kind of how it was. It, but yeah, yeah you, you take it what you, you can get. But I guess I missed out. Sir, you didn't miss out. Well, I mean, you kind of did because you're married now. So <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> the bows, the bows. There you go. It's right. Maybe it's okay my wife married. will give me a hall pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a little, for a little chick, yeah. She, no, she actually gets really jealous if a little chick talks to me. Little person chick? Yeah. 
Really? Super when do you jealous. run into little people, Chase? I was at Lowe's shopping, okay. and there's a little person, woman working there. She was cute. All right. You know, younger. And she's working, and I'm, I started asking her a question. And, you know, we were just connecting. It was just all about, like, what, what product I was looking for at Lowe's. And my wife. Where's the plungers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my wife just goes right in between us, just stands <laughs> right in front of her. No. She's man. like, we got to go. I was like, what? <laughs> Like, I still didn't get what I bought, you know? Like, it, she she got kind of jealous. I mean, it was pretty hot. But like, Were you, you flirting, know, at the though? At same time, I'm like, this never happens with, like, taller women when I'm talking to taller women. Yeah. You yeah. just felt a little threatened. Maybe you're being a little flirty. Yeah. You noticing. might have been a flirt. You might have thrown a wink out. She got, she got, she got a little jealous at, like, the, the eye level, that connection. That yeah. We had the stars hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the store. <laughs> um... At your latest shows, are there groupy girls that or little women? Do little women come to mini kiss shows? Are they come supported or are yeah. they like embarrassed? Like you, you probably won't believe this, but in the recent, like all of last year, I don't think not one little person showed up to any of our shows. Not even dude or whatever, yeah? No. It went with me and the stand up comedy, a lot of little people. The only little dude that there's a maybe one other or two others, but the only yeah. dudes that even come and support me are like friends mm. friends and stuff like like jason but like i think like i say the word midget on stage i, I say stuff you know self-deprecating things i make fun of things but like that's just comedy that's and i feel like a lot of little people don't want to be like surrounded around mm -hmm. that feel weird you know like especially like with other people in the audience like Get feeling over weird it. that you're saying, yeah, exactly. Get, Get over, over it. it. It's a yeah. comedy show. Come support, man. Yeah. yeah, it's a rock show. Come support. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people forget where they are when they're at a comedy show. Sometimes. Oh yeah, people forget where they are when they're oh, at any show. Anytime. Yeah, <laughs> you're having a good time. Don't let it end. Yeah. Yep. You guys have any gigs out here while you're out here right now in LA or anything? Or what are you guys working on while you're um, out here? LA specifically, we've been out here a lot recently, mainly for like this stuff, you know, yep. just more media, meeting people, networking. But we haven't really been asked to come out here and play. I mean, someone did ask us to like play the whiskey with them, but you know how that goes. It's like, I don't know how that goes. How does that go? Play, oh, usually. yeah, it's like pay to play, which is, it's, it's a great venue. We love it. But it's basically, what would it cost to play it? Uh, well, I don't think I'd get sued. I don't really care. Um, so basically, like, anywhere between 600 all the way to, like, 2500 Oh. Depending on what slot you get opening for the band. Got it. But it's pay to play, but technically not, because what they do is they'll say, you owe us 800 if you want the 9 p.m. slot. And okay. here are, you know, 40 tickets. Either you sell all the tickets or uh, you pay us the 800 or 600 so technically, if you have a big following, you can sell tickets and make that 800. But if you don't have a big following, like a lot of openers at the whiskey, they'll just pay the 800 and give the tickets away for free. Thinking it's not like, bad. you know, it's more yeah. about the exposure. It's more like, about exposure, yeah. And it, it, like with us, you I know, think you guys could pull it. Yeah, at like least we're 100%. 40 yeah, I mean, I mean, it might sound crazy, but like Mini Kiss. The minimum that we pack in venues, like it's like five hundred. Yeah. Like up to thousands sometimes. Like we did an arena in Vegas just last week, and like we could pack a house. Like that's why the three fifty in Vegas is easy for us. But that's why we're doing it four times, because uh, you know people are Kiss fans that come and see us, but also people are mini Kiss fans that come and see us, and then other people just love the gimmick, like going to see micro wrestling or something. Everyone has a different reason why they want to come see us. Has has the micro wrestling people ever reached out to you to like play like before? They yeah. wrestle or any of that? I'm really good friends with around three of the top micro wrestling um, people Who's and um, micro wrestling federation. No, no, like what? What are the the, the wrestlers' names? Oh, I don't like, know. Is it any Psycho? Names. The guy Psycho? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, they're big he on TikTok. Like they just nice got guy. a show on Discovery. They also have yep. um, like little Ozzy plays with them and tours with them, which is an ex member of Minikiss. And uh, you know, in the past, the relationships weren't that great with the micro wrestling and Minikiss. And I kind of healed those relationships, and now we're working on doing shows with each other, um, with micro wrestling, because we're total different arenas. You know, it's wrestling and music. So they have asked us to play some shows. Um, it's just right now, you know, we kind of don't want to be on a tail end of anything. Like, micro wrestling has their thing. You know, if Mini Kiss plays there, it's they already have their people. They don't need our people. Same thing for Mini Kiss. It's like we have our thing. So it kind of like, 
doesn't really mix well. Yeah. But who's to say, you know, one day we might just mix with micro wrestling and mini kiss and all the acts all together, you know? What what is your what is your favorite kiss song to play? Like is there a kiss song that you play where you could like really engage with the audience and like Beth. do full eye contact with Beth? Like, a special yeah. woman or any of that. Yeah, so mine like a, like, a, like a sexy song. Yeah, mine specifically is "I Was Made for Loving You," and oh. it's because it is a sexy song. And so and when you sing it, are you yeah, pointing at someone? Exactly. And like I fucking I point and I sing and I look in their like eyes. Thrusting, and I thrust. <laughs> Calm All down, of it. Bro, easy. He's dude, back I, there. I love that shit, dude. <laughs> He's back there playing Beth. And some well, no, girl. Beth he, is, he walks up to the front. Beth and sings is, it. Uh, I get off the drum set and I go walk to the front. Oh, wow. He touches the ladies' hands they and gives them real roses. real intimate, you know, with the ladies. Where yeah. do you get the roses from? On a writer. Okay, so there's ri- <laughs> roses for you. Yeah, and they wonder, like, why the hell do these guys need roses? And then they for know. For Beth. And then they know. How about you? So that. I think the one where I can actually, like, make my moves kind of, like, look sexy is Detroit Rock City. Okay. That's the one where I, I think I move around kind of the most. You're the base. Yeah. Is it a... Is it a it's an axe base. Is it, is it a, mi- a a smaller base? No, it's one? actually a full size base. Okay. And I that, just gotta and pay that's attention. Fine. It's not ha- too heavy or anything. Uh, like no, I make sure that the strap is kind of like a real little tight, real little tight, tighter. and that way it's easier for me for it Got to be it. up here to me. But really, all I gotta pay attention to is just the movements of my hands. And then you're you're just singing up there. You're singing. I play your guitar heart as away. well. I sing and play the guitar. Uh, okay. Everything that Paul plays, which is rhythm guitar basically and some leads, and um, but yeah, it's going really well. Uh, it's really We're, fun, and you're, you're having a blast up there, just drumming, man. You're in your own zone. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm the captain of the ship. Feels like sometimes. Mm-hmm. Well, you That's have to badass. keep the rhythm. So yeah, yeah I hold it down. Drum and bass. Yeah. yeah, make it sound good. Were any of you guys in the Cherry Coke Kiss commercial? So actually, three out of those four members have already passed away. Oh, yeah. Really? The only member that still exists is not in the band anymore, which is uh, okay. <laughs> we spoke about him earlier. Uh, but um, it was. A lot of the older members that were on there. Same thing for yeah. the the mall cop. Actually, one of the guys we do have now, which is our our main ace. Yeah, he's a younger guy and he was in all the commercials, and uh, but he had a gig today. Um, but we have two aces right now: a really old ace and a really young ace. I got it. But the really young ace, like he was on Survivor, like he has his stuff here, and he lives in um, San Diego, okay. so like he's always booked, dude. So always do you booked. do you guys um, and Tiny Kiss still have a beef? So. There was a thing in Vegas, which uh, Beecher's Madhouse. It was like huge. Mm, but that's, they had the midget bar. That's where that's it all started. So um, I don't remember the guy, Beecher or whatever his name was. He basically had Mini Kiss on his show in Vegas. This was back in the early 2000s. Mini Kiss. You the guys. Mini Kiss. Yeah, the, the only mini one, kiss right? Guys. And it's, it's all online. Everything's online are fine too. And basically, what ended up happening was MGM bought him out and they got. Bought really, out Beecher's? Uh, yeah, the show. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, yeah, Like, yeah, the whole yeah. thing, they got big, right? Yep. And I don't know the exacts, but from the old management, basically just the contracts didn't work, the money didn't work, they didn't want to offer more, and people started coming just to see Mini Kiss. Yeah. And it started becoming like, hey, you guys got bought up by MGM, but where's our race, you know? So basically things started work, didn't work out to where it was, we're just not going to do this Beecher's Madhouse anymore and just kind of separate ourselves, right? Well, this uh, Beecher guy went mad, and basically said, I'll do it myself then. I'll create a Tiny Kiss and get other LPs to come uh, up and perform. So he created Tiny Kiss. Now, this is all online. It was, it's one of the biggest stories in the New York Times, and it's still up there today. What had happened, which was at the Hard Rock in Las Vegas, Beecher um, basically had his first show, which was supposed to feature Tiny Kiss. Well, the older guys from Mini Kiss, including Joey Fatale, RIP, they showed up to the show went backstage and said, hey, we're a tiny kiss. Can we get in? They're like, yeah, come on, guys. You know, course, it's like, it happens yeah, all the time yeah. to us, too. If you're a little Normal person, they'll think you're a mini kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah, come in. mini kiss. Oh, you're Brad Williams? Yeah. Come on in. They'll yeah. let you in. Are you Brad Shit. But, yeah, they, they let the band in. So mini kiss goes on stage and starts to brawl with tiny kiss. No way. A physical brawl. Is there and, video footage of it? Um, I don't know, but New York Times has a whole article on it. And they covered it. It was the biggest one they said like in, in a long time. And basically, a real brawl happened. And was this planned out? No, uh, no. It was real. See, the the older guys, the mini kiss was born and found from New York City. The older guys, including Joey Fatale, they didn't take any shit. Mm. Like, there's even a story if you find online Ghostface from um, 
Wu Tang. Wu Tang just recently well, replaced. Look at you, you know your yeah. hip hop. <laughs> I know music, God bro. Damn. <laughs> I know music. I know music. <laughs> the, there's a story basically. It was on the Jimmy Kimmel show, and he talks about Mini Kiss, and it's a ghost stories. And the guy from Wu Tang says, "My ghost story is uh, we're playing a show once, and this band Mini Kiss was opening up for us." And I guess back then the guys didn't know who the guys looked like in the, in the Wu Tang Clan. So the lead singer of Wu Tang Clan goes on stage to sing with Mini Kiss Rock and Roll All Night. Method Man? Uh, uh, who was the lead singer? It's um, uh, the RZA. The yeah. RZA. Okay. Yeah. RZA. So he goes on stage and, and starts to grab the mic and starts to sing with the band. Mini Kiss back then circled him on stage and were about to beat his ass. Because they thought he was a drunk that's that just drunk oh. drunk on stage, <laughs> and that's a yeah. it, it's on Jimmy Kimmel and uh, it finishes because a uh, ghost face. He's like, so basically, I was about to watch my boy get beat up by Midget Kiss. And it was the best <laughs> thing ever, <laughs> and then it, it yeah. ends, and then uh, Jimmy Kimmel goes, I'm "Sure, they love the shout out, but I think it's Little Person Kiss." <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's but that awesome. they're all New Yorkers. They, they, you know, the old stories of Mini Kiss are all true. New Yorkers are, you know, they're wild. And uh, Mini Kiss just didn't put up with the bullshit. And that kind of ended the Tiny Kiss thing until recently, last year, uh, when I bought the band, I came across, and I'm really good at social media, I found an event that said Tiny Kiss is playing in New York City. And I was like, oh, hell no. So what I did was I had um, my lawyers and everything just basically reach out to them finally to say, you know what, the other man management never did this, but I just had my lawyers just reach out and say, hey, you're invading on a lot of stuff. We are the mini Kiss, and if we see Tiny Kiss or anything, they were also using our picture with Kiss. Mm -hmm. Like there's a picture of the band with Kiss. It's our biggest promo one. They were using that picture. So I just uh, sent the uh, cease and desist kind of letter from the lawyer. They stopped, completely have ended, and around two weeks ago I got a message from one of the guys say, hey, Art, I really love seeing what you're doing. You're helping the little person community, and it's great what you're doing. I would love to maybe talk again. Now, these are the same guys that tried stealing and being Tiny Kiss yeah. in New York. Yeah, yeah, and now yeah. they're coming around full circle saying, hey, we're sorry. We see it. it's When I first reached out to them months ago, they're like, we don't believe you own the band. Well, now do you yeah, believe it? Yeah. And uh, so that's the mini kiss, tiny kiss feud, which finally so, just ended. So you don't think that it's possible for there to be a tiny kiss and a mini kiss? Um, yeah, there could be even be a micro be kiss. There could be anything, but they're not going to have the stamp of approval by Kiss. They're basically just. You guys being, are the only ones. We're the only ones. We have the picture the with Kiss. kiss band. Yep. Yeah, we have the domain. We have the picture with Kiss, and there's thousands of Kiss tribute bands, and that's what they would be. It's just they're not mini. I, kiss. I have another question. If you guys could. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. No, no. If you got, if you guys could, uh, if you guys could. Uh, be another mini van, uh, another mini band of something. What what band would it be? Mini peppers. Uh, yeah, that's mini like, no, okay. Peppers. We got the mini chili peppers. Oh, here. That's pretty funny. You know, that's a mini good one. Peppers. Mini peppers. You guys would be shirtless, dude. <laughs> exactly. You guys just I mean, socks. I just gotta put a sock just on your socks. Socks on your yeah, cocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, I want a mini Motley Crew. My, mini okay, crew. Okay, so crew. you were you're into the spandex yeah, and yeah. the, the ha wild hair. Actually, yeah, we actually have been working on a mini crew. Um, first time saying it here, Ooh, also. Mini crew. Yeah, because like we want to introduce crew. it in Vegas. You and, even have we, to call it Mini Motley Crew. It can yeah. just yes, Mini Crew. Mini crew. And we I love know. Motley Crew. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like, all those I love, love Motley Crew. Live Wire is one yeah. of my favorite yeah. songs. Yeah. Like, Dude, it, I love Shout Out the Devil so is one good. of mine, too. <laughs> yeah. So good. Stuff. We could basically do anything and everything, but nothing will ever be as big as Mini Kiss. So we could try to yeah. create any other little band, but. Mini Talent. Or just create your own band. You know, like what you And we've actually been talking about creating a cover band of just like. Of just variety. jamming without makeup because you know jamming with makeup is great and all but we're still I think like, what he means is a, a, a little people original like, like, original no, band just your original music oh original dude, yeah that'd be awesome yeah we're, we're like own, it is not even thing. advertised as yeah. like a little person band it's yeah. just like show up and listen to good music and we happen to be little people it's yeah like a that's good what it's all about yeah. I think so, you know like if you were to do something like that it's just you know that's the only thing it's just you guys are playing just like every other band you just happen to be little people that's, right. that's mm -hmm. it yeah. that's right there's no gimmick. You guys are playing the fucking the instruments. The songs are good, right? That's yeah. Oh yeah, man. Oh well, yeah. The energy is there. Yeah. Will, will you guys come out to our show in Vegas? When is it again? May twenty fourth. We also have some in May. August and Ooh, in July, August, September. We'll put you on the guest list too. You know what? 
you fucking better put us on the list. <laughs> 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 he gets there. Yeah, you got to be the first. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I, we arrive like, there. No, you got to buy a ticket. No, we dude. go there first. Like, oh, you know, many kids right here. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, many yeah, kids just got here. We're many kids. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Where's our green room? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're eating our yeah, green room I need to put on my makeup. Damn, they're real affordable if they have Wee Men. Yeah. Well, guys. We'll probably be out there for your show. Oh, was, I think we will yeah. be. I yeah. think we want Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It was good yeah. having you guys yeah, on dude. our show. You guys came out here. What else? You guys plug something and where people could follow you, you know, and, and, and uh, what you got coming on, like, coming up, just dates. Because this isn't like, uh, plan, uh, it doesn't come out like next week. So just give this us might, a couple of dates, might. like a couple months from now of like stuff you guys got going on. Let's, oh, yeah. Let's get yeah. It in there. So you could find all of our stuff at minikiss.com or okay. you could just Google us. We take over the entire thing or social media, minikiss official. Not tiny kiss. Not, I, tiny not tiny kiss. kiss. Yeah. Mini the kiss. minikiss Dot official. Uh, we'll be playing in March on the trailer trash Tammy's uh, cruise um, to the Bahamas, March 22nd through 25th. And then in April, we're doing some Texas dates, some Pennsylvania dates. Um, next week, actually, we also got some Cali dates. I believe Sacramento, so Gelato. Mm -hmm. um, and then leading up to the Vegas residency in May, which, again, is May 24th in Las Vegas. At the and, space. At the space. And uh, we're, we're still getting booking offers all the way up to mid-2025. So we're looking to be very, very booked this year. And hopefully come back up to L.A. and do some stuff around here. And if you guys uh, yeah. are ever in LA, you guys got to hit me up. We'll go to your shows. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we'll make it happen, dude. Oh, Tonight, yeah. actually, we're going Hopefully to... Hopefully, we can uh, get on the guest list. Amber Wilde is uh, the son of Paul Stanley, and they opened up for Kiss on their final sh tour. And they're playing tonight, I think, at Bourbon Room. So we might go out and jam there and hang oh. out with those guys. Nice. But yeah, we're up in L.A. a lot of times. And we'll definitely hit you up the next time we're here. And we appreciate both you guys. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you for man. coming on, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. So, thank you. Woo! Woo yeah, come on. Put it on them right there. Yeah, baby. <laughs>